Good day. Fantastic first day in Jiangxi. Jiangxi, Fei Changbang, the Difang. Today, I'm in a province that I've never been to. Welcome to Wu Yan in Jiangxi province. Look at this breakfast, absolutely beautiful. My mouth is watering, my culture is coming out. And of course, a beautiful big cup of coffee. When I came to Jiangxi this weekend, I didn't think I'd be eating English fry. This is great. I want to come to Jiangxi every weekend. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Jiangxi. I'm in the middle of a little village here in Wuyang County, very peaceful, very real, very natural. Wow, it's so cool. It's like very vibey. And look at this, a bit of Zhongguo Wenhua. Wow, so all of these essentials made from bamboo. Ni gang gang zuo de, de ba? Ha, dou qian, wo mai jiege? San shi kui. Walking through the village, we visited the school that opened in 1880 and also the museum, which showed pieces from the history of the village. And after spying an antique shop, I knew I had to buy another Chinese coin to add to my collection. 80. 80. <laughs> This is incredible, this place. The carvings, the roof, an absolute marvel of engineering. What a place, a lot of history here. You know, a little town in Wuyuan, in Jiangxi. China's just full of these little villages where you could spend 100 years going through and there would still be things, still be new things to see and do. We've stopped for some lunch beside the road, and here we have some sanjue. It's wild, it grows around here. So some very local, fresh vegetables. Mmm, how to that? Rice has just arrived, and very lucky, I brought this with me. Let's try some Jiangxi rice. It's raining, let's relocate inside. Here we have some bamboo. Very good. Jiangxi Jiangxi flavor. It's good, right? Big fish. So fresh. A lot of little bones though, so be careful. Very tasty, like a bit of Jiangxi food, so I do. Uh, it's starting to rain, not perfect. Uh, hopefully it stops soon. Bye bye. Okay, ciao to dai lai. Just driving along the road. It's crazy how many yellow rapeseed flowers you can see. It is literally an ocean of yellow. After a quick 20 minute drive through the yellow ocean, we arrived at Dafan village, which is very famous for making ink stones. Traditionally, ink for writing and painting was solidified into ink sticks, and then using a little bit of water, they would be grinded on these ink stones, which released the ink and it was ready for use. Interesting stuff. Who knew that rocks could be so interesting? So much to see, so much to learn. It's like a little walk through history. Okay, and after about an hour and a bit of driving, we have arrived in Qingyuan. And apparently this is a really nice old town. I like these old places that are just totally original, that you can just kind of wander through and you have no idea where you're going and you just kind of get lost. See who you bump into, see what you find. China has become very technologically advanced. I still think it's important to keep these rural, real areas 
is where all the culture and the traditions are. When I come to these places, I just think I should quit my job, I should sell everything and just come and live in a village, enjoy life. Take it slow, easy, meet all the neighbors, drink tea with the eyes. That would be nice, right? Maybe one day, maybe one day. Just as we were getting ready to leave, a local uncle called us over as he said he had something special to show us. After taking some pictures, he told us to follow him, so we followed him, and it was 100% worth it. Nisha, Bindi, Ren, Shiba. Yeah. Yeah. Look at this place. This is incredible. Wow, well, this is, it feels like we're in a movie, right? It's too cool. I can't handle this. <laughs> too, too, too cool. Incredible. This is exactly why I love exploring these old villages. You just never know who you're going to meet. What a fantastic experience. You meet random people, they're so friendly, invite you to your house, you end up taking videos and pictures in such an old cool place. Always happens in China. People are very friendly. So now we're going to head back to the hotel and I believe we can make our own pizza there. Good day. Fantastic first day in Jiangxi. Jiangxi, Fei Chongbang the Deepham. Come, let me give you a look around the room. Now you can see the style of this room is almost like New York's apartment style is what I feel. It's got a lot of the uh, like bare metal and I really like the windows. Look how much light that lets in and you can see straight across to a temple. And what about this place? What a change from downstairs. It's so white, so clean, it's like that whitewashed valley style almost. It feels like you've just been married. You've got a nice bathtub and if we open the curtains you have your own balcony. It smells great. Who is it? You do it. That is very good. Good pizza here in Changchi. The following day, we visited some more old villages, but unfortunately, it was raining really heavy, so I didn't get the chance to video much. But I did get the chance to try some more local food. I hope you guys enjoyed the video here in Wuyang County in Jiangxi. From my very short time here, I can tell that Jiangxi is a beautiful, beautiful province. Good food, nice people, and very lovely little old towns covered in flowers. Beautiful, beautiful place. Looking forward to come back. See you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.